Who do I have in front of me at all? Michael Edward. And Michael Edward, how old are you? I'm ten. And where do you live? I live in Kilbarry Hunt inside, Ballybeg. And do you have many brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have five sisters, no brothers. The only chap? Yeah. Good lad. And what's your mammy and daddy's name? Lisa and Willie. And is your granny and granddad around still? Uh, no, my nanny passed away when I was only five and my dad is still alive. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So you live out in the, what's the name of the place again? Kilbury Hall site. Kilbury Hall site, right. Now, you have a mare, do you? Yeah, I have a mare. What's her name? Dolly Queen. And tell us about Dolly Queen, will you? Yeah, Dolly Queen is a, a black pony. She's a girl. Uh, she's a heavy cop. She's not a trotter. Like she have a lot of hair in her legs, and she's a nice pony. When did you get her? My father bought her for me last Tuesday. Only then. Yeah. Wow. And what did you have before that? I uh, had it already. My heavy coat. And what's the difference between now Dolly Queen and, and, the, and the old one? Like Dolly Queen now be older than him. Dolly Queen is four old. He's only a year since Saturday. So like she'd be way stronger and like heavier. And why would you go for a heavier mare? I don't know. Some people just like some heavier because like if you have them heavier, if you wanted to have a fall up, it's better to give him a sweet horse because she have the hair and they gave him a sweet horse. So you get a good fall that way. You have the sweetness and the heaviness. And did you come with the name? Uh, no, I put a name on her. Why did you put the name on her? I thought I just liked that name. And is she friendly with you? Yeah, very friendly. I drive to myself and I feed her like I do everything with her. And when you say you feed her, what do you do? How's your, how does your day pan out? So when I get up in the morning now at 8 o'clock, I go to the horse stable. She get a scoop feeding and a small bit of hay. And then at eight thirty, then she goes straight to the field till half two. Then she'll come up there and I'll jog her. She'll come back. She get a nice, uh, hot um wash. And then she get some more feeding and a sup of water. And she'll go back into the pen with a load of hay. And would you would you do that every day? Yeah, every day that goes on and on and on. Even in the, the depths of winter. Yeah, no, in the winter now I won't really be putting her in the field. She'd be in the stable with like a big bale of hay to herself and a load of water, a big truck of water. So when do you start putting them out in the land? Put them out in the land, like in the summer, because the ground is hard. And especially with um, heavy cobs, all their hair, hairs like that, it'd be all bog burnt. So their hairs start to fall off them. What did you call that term? Bog burnt. Bug burnt. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get scaldy feet? Yeah, like especially in the winter now when they lay me in over all the rain and all wet in the ground and I've been in the muck. The ground being soft. Would you ever put anything on inside in the stables with them like little holy metal or a bottle of water or anything like that? Uh no, because like before when we build them we usually get them blessed with a yoke of holy water all all around. So it's blessed? Yes, blessed. So you get up in the morning before school and you go and do all these jobs yeah and then at half two tell me what happens at half two then at half two then i go down and get her put on her bridle chock her up bear back and um then i put on the harness and i put on the me rocker i go on a jogger for baby could 15 minutes leave on my cousin patrick and my one or two of my sisters and jog her up and down the road then i bring her back in she get a wash then that's her sort of then I do the same with my father's filly. You do two of them, would you? Yeah, I do I do one in the field and one in the road. My own one in the road and his one in the field. Cause she'd be a bit uh like more stuff, she'd be gamier because she's a trot filly, she's light. And bareback as well? Yeah, no saddle. The saddle only hurts their back, too heavy for him, especially in this head. And when did you get into horses, eh? I mean, horses all my life was just in the blood. Like, since I'm only one, I had that small little Mitchell pony. And are your sisters into them? Yeah, my sister, my uncle Jimmy, has a Mitchell pony and she's able to drive her now, not a bun, and she only is up and down the side.
Isn't it gas, isn't it? Yeah, it is, especially when she's only a girl. Mm. And tell me this, your other friends in school, would they... Did yeah, I have a couple of friends in school, do we ask me, uh, Johnny Connors, like, do we ask me, are you bringing over your pony today? I might be getting a horse and we can jog them together and all this. And a few of the boys, like, when I, sometimes I leave my father drive her over to the school and give her some grass over there. And he could pick us up on the rock and all of all oh, you could see all the small children going over and petting the horse. They'd probably never see a horse before, would it? No, not really. Not like that? No. And is Johnny, again, would, would many of your other traveller friends have... Uh, yeah, lo- like they're nice few traveller friends. F- few in sixth class and a few in fifth. And I have a cousin, he gets up with me. Patrick, his name, he goes with me like when I'm jogging her. Yeah. yeah. Why do you like the horse? Why do you like <coughs> Oh no, they're just friendly. They're a bit of pastime, like, because I don't like really dogs, because in the winter, it's only time for dogs, because in the summer, the nettles will be too bad. And if they get a sting, they won't go back out to the land. And in the winter, I have school and all, so no point. Would they get a, if they, would, they wouldn't go back to the land if they got a sting of a nettle? Yeah, if they got a sting of a nettle, especially tires, they'd be like afraid to go into a ditch after a rabbit. And can tell me this as well then, so the, the, the land boys, does, does someone have a bit of land you can lay them onto or do you own it yourself? Yeah, my f- we have a big farm uh, up like two minute walk from us, a big massive farm. We have a lot of horse stables and hay barns up there, so not too bad. And who taught you how to get up on the horse's back and ride? Well, my cousin Michael and my uncle Danny. Did your father, was he interested in it? Nah, he, he learned me how to drive my cousins just when I had him at the they put me up. No fear in you on it? No. First time I was a bit coldy when they were going fast, but now I'm not. I'm just used to it now, no matter how big they are or how small. And so, again, I'm going back to your day, half two then. You, and where do you wash it down? Do you wash it down like is it tap outside? No, we have a proper power hose, like a uh, proper bar so you put it on that big nice cold water but sometimes it's too be hot over the sun shining on it so she get washed with that and a small little bit of liquid and then she get a lot of water in because they be hydrated over the heat too and a nice little bit of heat and would you only do that after you've jocked her no or she get day? she get that every time she like when she goes into her shed or her, her um the stable or the pin or even if I'm tying around the grass, you can't leave it there without water because the like the grass is no good to them without water, so you have to bring a churn. We still have the old churns and we put that, bring them down and put it into the barrel, fill the barrel. With the old churns? Yeah. Yeah. My dad still have them, he have about five or six of them. Like the new one you have now, did she, has she taken the already? Yeah, like she's kind of used to me now because I, I do everything with her, like, and my father, my father do be with me sometimes, but say now, for example, if you come down with me, she'd find you a bit strange. Yeah. Like, she walk, she'd come to me, she said, like, if I shake the feeding at her to catch her, she'd come to me straight away, but she wouldn't come to you now because she find it very nervous. Do you ever notice that with horses, that they'll spot something strange, they'll stop? Mm, it's like a baby. A baby's not going to come to a stranger if they don't know him. That's the way it is with horses, same thing. They're clever, like, they have brains. And do you bring her off anywhere else outside of home? Do you bring uh, her- yeah, I brought her over to Dungarvan Fair and my uncle Paddy, Paddy had a fair here over in Ballybake, over by St. Saviour's School in the land there. How did you move her over? Uh, I jogged her over and then to a little, like, a dike where, like, it's hard or concrete or muck, I mean, and just take off the sulky and pull it up and then jog her up and down the field. And let people see her. If they want to buy her, they can buy her. If they don't, don't make a matter to me. And do you have her on the sulky? Yeah, she's driving, she's um, jocking, like everything is done with her. What's it like being on the sulky? Very good. A lot of people ask me, is it bumpy or anything like that? I gave the, some child here the other day a turn of my pony and her back, and he loved it. And then a friend of my father's, uh, his name is Joe Burke. He had a son, young Joe, they want to get on a horse, a small little pony with my cousin Michael. They got to turn on that. And he said, that's unbelievable. I get to turn on my own too. Yeah. And do you ever watch it on telly? Do you ever see it on telly? 
Uh, yeah, like when I'm bored now or anything like that, we watch a few horses, like, or sometimes there are songs, King of the Road and all like that with Chip and Pin and the Indians, all the good horses. Do you watch horse racing at all? Or have you an interest in horse racing? Yeah, my father and my uncles, you know, they keep a lot of horses. My uncle won two competitions with his mare, she's called Big Bread, and he, for, he's going for his third one and his mare just didn't go the, her best. So he lost his third one in the final. Have you any goals like that, or are you just happy to have your your? We your like we like them for fun. Like we, what it is with a horse? If you put in, if you look after them, they look after you. If you like no point being ill to them because they're going to be ill to you. So give the horse what what the word. Give him the feed and give him water, and they'll be nice to you. It sounds like your one's nice to you, is she? Yeah, very nice.